Welcome back, everyone, to West Explains Best. We're continuing where we left off with uh, circles, and we're going to be talking about arc measure today. So this is a Khan Academy tutorial, so let's go ahead and jump right in. In the figure below, AC and BD are diameters of circle P. What is the arc measure of BC in degrees? So one thing that's important to understand, because uh, AC and BD are... Uh, diameters if we draw a diameter in a circle it splits it right down the middle and this becomes 180 degrees one thing we also need to understand is if we have two angles like this vertical angles are going to be congruent so uh, and one last thing if we have a circle uh, what color was it this one if we have a circle and we have a central angle here it's central angle because it touches the center the angle here x degrees will also match the arc measure here so those are going to be the same those are three basic principles we need to understand of arc measured before we move on okay um so let's move on with this problem so it looks like this is given as 155 and we're asked to find bc so what are what is the arc measure of BC in degrees? Uh, so if I'm looking at this correctly, it looks like BC is this right here. And because this is 155 here, we know this is a vertical angle. So this also is 155. So BC should also be 155. So we're going to put that in for our answer. But I just want to double check to make sure you guys understood that. So again, we're given that this is 155. These are vertical angles, and we know they're vertical because we have this little intersection going on, and this blue line's on this angle's on the exact opposite side of that. And because this angle corresponds to this arc measure, this is also 155 degrees. So let's put in 155. The degree symbol's already there. Check it. Ready to roll. Okay, so we're on to the next problem. What is the arc measure of ABC? It says AB is a, uh, a diameter. So ABC. So we're going to go from A to B. Whoops, I wanted yellow. A to B to C. Okay, you go in the order. So we're starting at A and we're moving around to C. Okay, so we want to find that measure. So the first thing we should recognize, if we have a diameter, that means that's 180. And then we're given that this is 69. I wanted to change this to green. This is 69. So then we're going to add the two of these together because remember this central angle corresponds to that measure. And then this central angle corresponds to that arc measure. So we need to do 180 plus 69. And that's going to be the measure of a, B, C. So 180 plus 69, enter. And we get 249 degrees. So we can go ahead and plug that in for an answer, 249. Bingo. All right, let's do one more, just because I think you guys are getting the hang of it. What is the arc measure of AE in degrees? So first, let's identify AE. AE is this small guy right here. Now, it gives us several clues. One of the clues is it says BD is diameter. That means this is half the circle. Okay, so that total sum on that side, uh, let me do it in green. This needs to add up to 180 and no more than 180. It has to be 180, okay? So... We know something else. We know this is 90 degrees because it's giving us the right angle. So that's 90. And then it tells us that this is 63. So what we need to do is we need to say, okay, 180, that's the total it has to be, minus 90, minus 63. And the only thing left is it's going to be equal to our angle here, arc AE, arc length AE. Not arc length, arc measure, sorry. There's a big difference. So just real quick also, sorry, I said real quick like eight times, but arc measure is degrees. So X degrees. Arc length is a measure of distance. So this is more in tune with the circumference. So this is a distance. This is degrees. 
just so you guys are aware. So right now we're just doing degrees. So I'm just gonna get my calculator and I do 180 minus 90 minus 63 and I get 27 for my answer. It looks like that's about right. Judging on the size, 27, punch it, there we go. Hope you guys found this informational or at least helpful and I'll see you next time on West Explains Best. In the meantime, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest. See ya.